Hello everyone, I'm David Zarifpour and in this video I want to show you how we can simulate and analyze sheet metal parts in SOLIDBOX. First I open the part and design my sheet metal part. For that I go to the front plane sketch and design my sketch, make a dimension 100 millimeters each line. And in sheet metal tab, I click base flange to make this sketch to sheet metal. In direction one, I write 80 millimeters and for bend radius, I put 10 millimeters. I click OK. And after that, I use sheet metal gadget for this sheet metal part. In this video, we want to analyze this sheet metal parts by using with sheet metal gadget and without sheet metal gadget to find how the strengths of this part. I click two faces and use 24 depths. and 15 for indent width and click OK. In sheet metal add-ins, I click sheet metal simulation, solidworks simulation to active simulation tab. I go to simulation tab, click on new study and click aesthetic analyze and click OK. First, I apply material. For example, alloy steel, I use this for this part, click apply and close. After that, I use fixture, fixed geometry. This face will be fixed and click OK. And for the load, I use force for this face. I use selected direction and click on this edge. For force, I use 500 newtons in this direction and click OK and go to the create mesh and click OK for mesh density here. I can use a smaller mesh for this part. Okay, and click on this essay to solve this find element problem. And wait to solve that. And now we can see the result. For example, esters, one minus esters. And we can use true scale for that and right click on esteres and click edit definition and click true scale. As you can see, the maximum stresses we have in this part is about 500 megapascal. And yield stress we use for this material, for this part, is about 600 megapascal. Because the maximum 1 minus stress we have in this part is lower than yield stress, these parts can tolerate these forces. And here we can see displacement and strain. Now I back to the model and remove sheet metal gasset. Now we can analyze this part without sheet metal gasset. And again, I click new study, static, apply material, same as that part, low steel, add fixture, force, Five hundred Newton. Equate mesh and run this study. Mm -hmm. 
And now we can see SRS one minus SRS is about 600 megapascal. I need SRS about 600 megapascal. But in by the sheet metal gas set is SRS one minus is about 500 megapascal. And for the displacement, we can compare maximum displacement for sheet metal part with and without gas set. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.